Hi, I'm Rich Aronovich, and I tour with Craig Shoemaker. And over the last year, I have dealt with a ton of unsolicited advice. So I figured what I'd do to get back at him was get him to tell me how lazy I am and how he's the hardest working man in show business, followed by this. But what I got was something completely unexpected. He got way deep, very philosophical, something that I found quite fascinating, and I'm sure you will too. Tell me, uh, is, is being a headliner hard work? Well, everything's relative. Being a headliner is obviously hard work, but it's, you know, compared to a coal miner, it's not. But to become a headliner, to sustain it, which I think that's part of the question you're asking. Sure. It takes a lot of work, work that for me is probably not uh, in a traditional sense as one would see it, of what the hard work would be. I tell people this a lot, is uh, the biggest key that I ever had to go into the next level was the work on um, self, because it's the self that is in every situation. You know, the bad audience, the heckler, the bad club owner, the radio, the radio guy that wants to press a button, the radio guy that wants to cut you off, the television show where they're staring at you because they're so nervous that you're going to say something that will have them thrown off the air. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with their fear? The person deals with them, not the comic. So comics think it's all about jokes. There's only 13 forms of jokes, so it's just a matter of just putting them into a formula. But what changed for me was um, I started to make it all experiential. The whole act is experiential. It's, uh, and I put that out to the audience. It's, you know, it's exagger exaggerated experiences, and that's where the skill comes in. That's where the joke writing comes in, but it's all personal. And uh, to me, that was, a big, that was a big key to uh, cross over to the other side. How's it work? I mean, the behind-the-scenes sort of work on this. Well, the behind the scenes specifically on the career and specifically on comedy is a part of it. But as I said before, there's also the behind the scenes. Uh, I'll give you an example. If you were a boxer, okay, or you're an athlete, it's not just working out. You're not just working out, right? right. You're studying film. Mm -hmm. You're dissecting. You're, uh, you're working on your, your mental well-being and so forth. So it takes all of that, and it's the balance of that. And that's something I don't think many comics understand. A lot of people that I've either mentored or spoken to through the years, they always go, I need an agent. And I go, how much time do you have? I, I got five killer minutes. <laughs> really? You need an agent? <laughs> and there's, this, uh, there's all these illusions you know, that go on, and, and, and people don't really want to hear my theory on this either, because it does take time. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody told me, uh, if you put 10,000 hours into something, you will be really great at it. And I put 10,000 hours into this, and, and a lot more. Mm -hmm. So I believe that that took me to another level where I feel really good about what I'm doing on, on stage and off, you know, when, when it comes to all the outlets. And that's the thing back to the answer to the question during the day I'm covering the different outlets I'm covering the, the business side of it uh, I'll make calls and emails regarding that I cover the social network side of it constantly tweeting and constantly Facebooking and uh, responding to people and, and uh, developing a fan list talking to those fans every bit of it's all part of it and, and by the way, I have a new joke in my act that has to do with talking to a fan. <laughs> it's a new bit in my act. So you don't know, when you get rid of the agenda, I've just got to tell jokes and i just got to be funny and i just got to be successful. When you get rid of that and live, it starts to evolve. And evolution always takes a little bit of time. But you have to ground yourself in that purpose first, before anything. You have to create that energetic space first, and then all the rest comes. So then you're just filling it in every single day. I am doing something to do with the career. It's just not in a traditional sense as you would think of it.